The way I looked at myself, I considered myself human garbage. I was a monster. I, I think hopeless was probably a good word for it. I was extremely suicidal. I remember telling my friends that all my dogs were going to outlive me. Those, those dogs were my joy. One day, Lucky got out of bed. I was always the first one up. So when she got up out of the bed, had to go to the bathroom, I couldn't control the situation. I was in so much pain, I was sitting there trying to roll myself to get out of, off the bed. I grabbed my cane, and I stood up, and I wanted to scream. It took me forever, and the poor dog, she was sitting there just bouncing around, having to go. And I finally got her outside, and I went to the window to watch her. And I became so enraged with what I did to myself. And I looked over, and there was all these pills I, I laid down, I said, God, you got to show me something because at the end of the day, I'm done. I'm going to take all these pills. I'm going to make sure I don't wake up this time. Shortly after, a friend of mine posted uh, a story about Vance Hines. And I started watching it. And he started off walking. And I'm like, ah, I can't do that. I can barely walk to the front door. And then that's when DDPY got in, into the story. Because then I was like, okay, I know who Diamond Dallas Page is. So I started watching this. And I'm like, okay, this kind of gives me a little hope there. And when I found that you could start off in a bed and there's no pressure on your joints, I signed up that day, did my first workout, and then I realized, you know what, this is gonna work for me. And I was doing bed exercises and then I was able to get and start doing chair exercises. It was quite something. <laughs> uh, I was losing about 15 pounds a month. It, it, it gave me that little glimmer of hope that uh, you know I didn't have to be big, I didn't have to be in so much pain all the time. And my goal at that time was I was going to get rid of this cane. I knew our time was getting close. I figured I had until her 10th birthday. You know, when you got something that's there with you for 10 years every day, the reason why you're getting healthy again, the reason why you're not drinking anymore, the reason why you're not a drunk anymore, though that was my reason for all that, I didn't drink no more because I'm lucky. I got healthy because she had to go outside. When I lost Lucky, I lost her in my arms. I didn't think I could come back from that. Shut down. I, I didn't quit doing DDPY though. I did not quit. I did not quit. I had no strength. I had nothing in me. I tried. That's that's got to come for something, right? I know I got to keep pushing forward. That I can't do. It's the one thing I can't control. Uh. I can't control everything around, around me, but I can control myself. I can control what I do. I can control where I want to take myself. It's not just about weight loss. It's about changing your entire life, helping you own your life. And Ken was someone that we had been watching for literally years. You know, I never for the life of me ever thought I'd get down here. Yeah, I, goosebumps. <laughs> goosebumps. Got him. <laughs> uh, it was a shirt that I was photographed in without me knowing about that Christmas time of 2018. And uh, I would have been pretty upset if I would have known somebody was taking a picture of me. It was, the picture was given to me later. Oh, wow. I'll be ready in a minute here. Uh, yeah, so I, I use this shirt to compare it to other clothing that I, that I have. <laughs> Hands out of there. <laughs> Ken, come on up here. I want to talk to you. It is so crazy the way God works sometimes because this happened to me two hours ago. 
And two hours ago, we had like some mail and Paige opened up the box and I got this letter. Dear Dallas, we have a mission to make this world a happier place and people like you and your company really show the world how to lead a happier, healthier lifestyle. We want you to choose a member from your DDPY community. They want to give you back your smile. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I am living my best life right now, uh, in my 50s. I, I'm a pretty lucky guy, you know, get a second chance in life, and I'm going to do my best to make the most out of it. Don't know what's going to happen, don't know what the future is going to bring to me. Actually, I do. It's going to keep bringing me good stuff. I'm still going to keep doing good things. I'm still going to keep pressing forward, because that's what I do. You know, I had the odds stacked up against me so many times. And look where I'm at now. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. But I wanna thank everyone for all your support and you know, all the love you guys have showed me. It's, it's really, really appreciated. So, you guys have yourself a great day. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my walk. I want people to know you, you can uh, you can always change. It's uh, how bad do you want to change? And it's amazing how much heartbreak and pain and anger led to where I'm at right now. So if I can change, anybody can change, right? You make life how you want to make it. <laughs>